actually, can you introduce a little bit about yourself, mm. where you study, and mm. why you learn classical guitar? Mm -hmm. the, well, this is because of a dog. Dog. Okay. One dog in front of a piano shop. One dog. He was my friend. <laughs> his, his name was, was John. John? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, no, 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 no. That name dog was. I didn't give name. This dog was John. Yeah. So I, I became good friend eh? because uh, this piano shop was between uh, my house and uh, my school, elementary school. So when I go to school, John is always in front of the piano shop. So I became a friend of this this dog at first. At first, yes. Because of dog, I'm studying a guitar. So nice. This is a wonderful story. And one day, uh, owner of this uh, piano shop, she came out. Okay. So, what are you doing? And I'm a friend of this dog. I, I, I you know, yeah? I was with him. Uh, uh, many, many people, uh, neighborhood, your neighborhood, your friends, come to my, uh, my piano class okay. in my shop. You should come. You like music? Yes, so-so. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like music, but to play, no, no experience, etc. But you should come. Uh -huh. I enter to piano class. Okay. Yeah, so, but this piano class teacher was terrible. Terrible. Like a witch, you know, a witch, uh, very old lady, and she was so, so scared. So scared, you know. I was already nine years old that time. Uh -huh. And with girls of uh, five, six years old, already in Japan, we started, you know, young education, you know, for education for young people, you know. Um, they have already careers. They can play some Brugmura or even, you know, some Cherny or some pieces. But I could, I started Method Rose, you know, you know the Method Rose, very well for uh, beginner for piano. And when I play piano, the girls will, you know, always laugh. So, so I, I really boring, very boring. Oh. Teacher is like, you know, diablo, and uh, the girls are all, always laughing. It's uncomfortable. But, but what about if the teacher is a pretty lady? Are you, will you no, keep I, learning? I just hate her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this story starts from here. Okay. And this piano class is the first floor. Mm. And the second floor, new guitar course coming. Mm. Okay. And the teacher was uh, my teacher, Mr. Saito. Unfortunately, he passed away 10 years ago because of heavy cancer. Yeah, he, he, he passed away. But he's, he was only 25 years old. And my uh, circumstances was like that. My, ar around me, all you know, adult people, all, all adult people, like uh, high school student, more than high school, you know, uh, office lady, or businessman, or uh, college people. Uh, you know, they are more than 18, 19 years old. I'm only 11. So, you, can you imagine one 11 years old boy came and plays, for example, Villa Lobos? Uh, HUD number one, it's become genius. Uh, uh, in four years, I played Alan West already. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Beginning was very lazy. I, was, I didn't understand well the classical music. Uh, I, I didn't understand about the Karkash. Karkash, what is Karkash? I thought Karkash is a kind of Indian name, Karkata. Karkata, Kar Karkash. Or, uh, I didn't understand the Giuliani and the Julian Blim, Giuliani Blim, or Giuliani. Julian, why, why Julian Blim has two names? Mauro Giuliani Blim. Or I, was, I was just innocent boy, you know. I was just innocent. And the name, uh, dog, dog name is John, and uh, why John, John Williams is there, and uh, something like that, yeah, you know. <laughs> it's such a funny guitar word, huh? First, after piano, at first my 
My father bought and present to me a small ukulele. ukulele. Yeah, not small, a big size ukulele. Okay. Uh, I always say tena, tena ukulele, no? Okay. Yeah. So and uh, and four strings is a pity, not not you know rich <laughs> harmony and uh, only uh, Hawaiian pinka 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 pinka. Ah, now I'm aroha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a uh, boring. So I changed the normal guitar. So what guitar you are using right now and what strings? Now I'm using, mainly using Sakurai RF model guitar because uh, almost, you know, I, I collaborated to Sakurai and uh, early <coughs> year 2000, so Mr. Sakurai started to, to talk about uh, future guitar. Oh. What is a future guitar model? So uh, we discussed a lot personally. Since many years I'm a friend of Sakurai, oh. so we, we talked a lot. A lot. Yeah. Mm. So mainly Sakurai guitar, and I have three, four vintage guitars, like uh, Santos Hernandez, 1932. One is uh, Jose Rubio guitar. Recently I got this one, uh, built in 1966. And also I have Romanillo's father's guitar, uh, last, his last guitar of 2014. And also vintage uh, 19th century guitars. One is original, uh, of course, two original guitars. Uh, one is Lakoto, mm-hmm. one is Guadagnini. Mm-hmm. This Guadagnini is uh, 1826. Uh, Giuliani died year, his death year. So many, many guitars. I use more than 10 guitars, and when uh, depends on the repertoire, I u- choose oh. the guitar. For this latest album, but latest, latest uh, Japanese, Japanese, Japanese too. Oh. So the guitar you use is Sakurai. This is mainly Sakurai guitar. Yeah, no, all Sakurai guitar. Yeah. All Sakurai yeah. guitar. Uh, can you say something about this album? Uh, the first song is uh, Mr. Takemitsu. The best Takemitsu, song. yes, Did yes. Of course, personally. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can, how's your relationship with him? And, and what do you think about his music? No, it's a, mm, his music. <laughs> More, very difficult. It's a, uh, because because I, I started to hear Takemitsu music when I was 15 years old. Why? Because uh, that year, I'm born in Osaka. I'm born in Osaka. That year, when I was 15 years old, Osaka Exposition, World Exposition. Okay. Yeah, 1970. This is a very important year because uh, for I opened my eyes about contemporary music. Because uh, Takemitsu was one the musical side director of that f- exposition. Takemitsu was personally, and uh, also uh, Pierre Boulez came. Pierre Boulez, do you know? French famous composer. Oh, yes. Yeah, same as Takemitsu. Re- recently, he passed away. Uh, Pierre Boulez came with uh, Cleveland Orchestra. Also, uh, great master George Serre came. Cleveland Orchestra, I opened my eyes about contemporary music. Mm. And uh, one exhibition hall uh, was uh, all, all Takemitsu produced, and at that, that time, was a chance operation, uh, and uh, he challenged to do many, many new things about collaboration to John Cage, famous uh, contemporary composer. So uh, every uh, audience must have uh, this kind of box. And that, that moment, uh, it's uh, more than uh, close to 50 years ago, very high, high technology. And we, we use like phone. And uh, we move in the concert hall. We hear many, many different kinds of sounds. Yeah. This is a kind of chance operation music. And uh, Toru Takemitsu produced this one. And uh, it became, he became my hero. Okay. 
after when he wrote first piece for us, uh, it, it was suddenly I met him in the music shop. Mm. So, of course, I was uh, in uh, uh, university, first year of university. Well, I freeze completely. <laughs> I couldn't talk, you know. And yeah, he's, he's a very severe face. Just, just like the first time oh. I met you, completely. Uh, very severe face. And he does always like this. So, so scared, I couldn't approach to him. And a few years later, you know, when I played uh, Towards the Sea for flute and guitar, yeah. he called to me. He called to me, called to my house. And uh, we started to talk about this music. I, I, it was an amazing thing. I didn't know, I didn't know him and he didn't know. But he, how he found it, I don't know. I, I, I played in the concert and, uh, okay, Shinichi, I go to your rehearsal. It's incredible. I, I thought somebody joke, you know. Yeah, it's a fake Toru Takemi talking to me, but he said seriously, I go to I go to your rehearsal, and finally he came and we became a good friend, you know. Since then he wrote in many many music, you know, magazines, uh, in newspaper also. He in the, his essay he wrote about me. Mm. So because of him, I could enter to classical music world. Yeah. What do you think about this festival? Could benefit the students? Oh, it's a great chance, great opportunity, huh? To to no, because because I started to to, to work. Uh, with uh, Genesis people, uh, Miss Lee and Jimmy Liu, he, her daughter, her son, and uh, the assistant Jennifer Liu, uh, since 1990. Yeah. So this year is all, almost 26, 25th or six years. Uh, so long. I know uh, almost a quarter of a century. I know the history of Taiwan guitar scene. Mm. Of course, uh, of course, Japan started much more earlier, so we had experience, and uh, it's a very good, very important thing. I could, I could bring this kind of experience to this country, and another point of view, we can watch the music, and uh, uh, not in European festival, not in the another Asian festival. This is a typical, uh, unique festival in in Taiwan. Yeah, it's a very important thing, I, I think. Mm -hmm. Mission, first mission for me was go to hair dye. <laughs> <laughs> Recording director said, you played very well, you played perfectly. Uh, playing is okay, but your hair is terrible. And uh, you go to hair that make black, you know. But I stop now, yeah? Okay. I can buy whiskey bottle. <laughs> <laughs> instead of instead of this beer, yes. <laughs> I can I can drink one bottle of whiskey. Hi, this is Shinichi Fukuda. Uh, you are watching music. Ah, it's closed. Uh, yeah. uh. Uh.